but what sense of hope or satisfaction could a reader derive from an ending like that? So in the book, I wanted to give Robbie and Cecilia what they lost out on in life. I'd like to think this isn't weakness or evasion, but a final act of kindness. I gave them their happiness. Why did you make me watch this stupid fucking movie? This isn't stupid. It's amazing and beautiful. So romantic. Fuck this movie, man. White people in their sad ass movies. No, Idy, you know this isn't just a white people movie. So what? I'm mad. They destroyed me. Well, at least our loves are still alive. I mean, I know you just started dating your mystery guy and it's not love, but at least he's still here. Well, damn, Kat. Just jump to death, why don't you? You get what I'm saying. At least we still have love and hope. These two just died. No love, no hope. Oh my goodness. Here comes philosophical cat. I'm just saying it makes you think about love and life more. It makes you appreciate it, that's all. Yeah, and it depresses you as if I'm not already depressed enough. You just need to get laid. What? You just need to get laid. Who says I'm not getting laid? Well, are you? No, but that's beside the point. Is it? Whatever, Kat. Besides, who says getting laid anymore? Well, you just need to get fucked. Is that better? <laughs> Whatever, Catherine. I'm trying to finish this book and I'm performing again, so... Wait, you're performing again? Yeah. Last week when you went out, I went to my writer's group and did a thing. That's where I met the guy. Oh my God, congratulations. Thank you. I performed at a couple more open mics and I think I'm really getting the hang of this. That That's great, congrats. So, uh, why didn't you tell me? I, I don't know. Honestly, I didn't think you'd get it. Why not? I don't know, because you're you, Kat. Because I'm me? What does that even mean? What do I do that's so annoying to you? Assimilate. That's what you do, Catherine. When a white person touches your hair, you just shrug it off. When someone says you're pretty for a black girl, oh, thank you. When you have a choice to wear your hair natural or straight, you always choose straight. Always. But it's, and don't go saying, but it's in dreads now, because we both know I had to beg you to try something new. I just wish you got it. I do get it. And maybe I do those things. And maybe I accept things that I shouldn't accept. But I don't want my life to be any harder than it already is. I get that. And I know that. That's why I've tried to tread lightly. I know I haven't been the nicest to you lately. That's an understatement. Damn, girl, that bad? That bad. I'm sorry. It's cool. So 
So I am um, gonna quit my job by the end of the month. Damn, girl, that's soon. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it's time for me to wake up or whatever. So, I've got potential clients. Well, as long as you've got a job and income, because the rent won't pay itself. You're right. What are you gonna do without me? What do you mean? You have to move when the baby comes. Oh yeah, the little nugget. <laughs> Wait, move? Yeah, I have to leave. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck is right. <laughs>